Okay, so we're back. Uh, all I did was I went to, I just walked through here, found a, a, a pack of wolves and just captured a, an alpha wolf. As you can see, a level 11 alpha wolf from them. The first pack that I found was level 11. Uh, so I've tested this already. I saved it before and tested to see if it actually worked. And now I, when I came back after capturing the alpha, I rested twice, saved my game and then went in. And I saw that it did actually scale it up. So that one unit was all I was missing here. Um, but if it had been two humans, as I said before, if it had been two humans, it would have worked already with just those two humans. So eight units at level nine, two humans at level 11 works to scale these guys up to level 11. But apparently with animals, you would need three animals, three level 11 animals. I don't know if you need three level 11 bears also. Um, uh, because I haven't tested it, you know, recently. I haven't I haven't done that test recently. Uh, when I used to use bears, I would actually accumulate level eleven bears and use it to scale them up. Um, but we know for a fact that two level eleven animals won't do it, but three level eleven animals now will, as we will see here, as I head in to take Ricky, not to take Hackard, sorry. So the same thing. We heal. Boom. Coming back in, and we recruit him. Here we go, we get Hackert, we get our Legion, and here he is, level 11 Hackert. Uh, so if you wanted him at level 10, if, or if you wanted any of the few recruits at level 10, I do not know how you would solve that problem. But most likely you would want to have level 9 for all of your units, and capture some level 10 uh, animals, I suppose, when you're level 8. Sorry, yeah, level 8 with all your units capture some level 10 animals and maybe he would scale up to level 10 I'm not sure <clears throat> but when you're level 9 and you've got a few level 11s well three level 11 animals or two level 11 humans they scale for they go from 9 to 11 straight up so getting them to 10 I don't know because even just one human level 11 and the rest level 8 he'd still be level 9 <clears throat> and as we saw earlier with two animals he'd still be level 9 too so we got Hackert uh, level 11 and we're going to go after the next one we're just going to raise him up uh, so valorous victory we give him the cutthroat for his frenzy uh boop, 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 boop. here we go deadly contract uh, applies fragility and the final one we go with cold-blooded damage of attacks from behind increased by 20 percent and we're going to name hacker Viper, since he's going to be using Viper anyway. So increase his movement up. He's going to have a plus two movement armor, so we can get it up to 18. I and mean, you could do 14, you know, anywhere between 14 and 20. It depends on how much you really want, um, or 12 in this case, because you'd be adding a plus two. I like to have them all at 20 movement personally. I, I just feel it, it offers me a lot of options. I sometimes like to move people back and forth doing things, so it gives me more options than if I just had them at, at 12, obviously, because it's higher, it's more, and once they're, they're inspired, they have even more, so. And we raise his willpower up. <coughs> Again, raises his willpower up. And this is enough willpower, because we're going to use Bard in order to get the last piece of willpower from 19 to 20. And we go with critical hit for the rest of what he's got. And there we go. So as you can see, just as a base, he's, he's already pretty good. He has Nimble, which was which is great, we were at, but he's depressed, so his willpower is reduced by two. Uh, we may lose depressed status. Uh, Sometimes they get depressed when, um, if you get rid of a best friend of theirs, they get depressed, but then it, it leaves after a while. So I believe willpower, uh, depressed status can be healed just just over time from them being happy. Um, but we will actually be able to see or out. Now I run over to give him his 
weapon and uh, and his armor right away since I've got all that ready in my storage. So this storage that I've got that I've been using all game, it's not the only storage that I have, but it is my main storage. So most of the things I'm going to put here, you know, it's only in the case where I'm in a, in a land and uh, I have too much encumbrance and I'll just drop a few things maybe. Uh, but most of the stuff, the important stuff anyway, that I'm, that I'm looking for is always going to be in here. Grab myself a Viper. And we go with uh, a four. It's a four and it's a four. He would have a willpower of one extra on this one. I'll, I'll keep this one for the witch. And I'll give him this armor right here. There you go, Viper. Boom. And uh, we give him a torch as his secondary. There we go. And... Um, So you can give him unstable oil if you want, or you can give him sharpening oil. Depends on you, I find those are the two most useful ones for them, the sharpening oil, which will give him an extra crit hit of 10%, or the unstable oil, which will allow him to, uh, you know, possibly proc off a second hit. Uh, on Viper, I find it more useful to give him sharpening oil than unstable oil, because he kills on almost everything he does, he kills. Um, although it could be very practical just for your torch strike to be able to double up on the, you know, to, to hit an AOO from a torch strike swing out. So I'm actually going to give him unstable oil this time and play it out. I never actually usually do give him unstable oil, but I'll do it this time and we'll see how it works out for him. Uh, let's look at unstable oil. We need uh, 222, so we grab two where are they there, there two of these babies let me grab um whoops one of these as you can see i've been accumulating pristine essence also so i just got them ready here and that's it head over here what is it again sort of yeah, two and two. Okay. Head into town. Over here. Grab ourselves some salt. Check to see if there's any more for sale. There is. Wonderful. Okay. Then we can sell this stuff to him. Hold that up there. And we need two brandy, and we know that we've got brandy always here. One, two, there we go. Back out, and come into here, and go after my unstable oil. So one of the reasons I'm using unstable oil right now is because I've actually got an extra unstable oil concentrate in my in my chest, one that I had made, I had made one too many, so this way I'm actually using it. Give it, and we put that on Viper. There we go. Wonder Bar. And we can move him up to being a novice tinker uh, for the extra crit hit. Makes him sit at 39 right now, so. Plus his backstab bonus. Uh, so he would be close to 50% on uh, critical hits. And we can move him into the team, move this guy out. Actually, we'll move this one out. Move him back onto there and move him over here. There we go. Okay, so we depart from here. Now I'm going to go grab Taurus. Taurus was actually my favorite one of all of them to have. Um, what we need is this over here. And I need three of these 
three infected blood. And you'll see why in a second uh, I need three infected blood. It's not necessary to do this, but uh, I like to get the uh, the bonus if I haven't gotten it already. I may have already gotten it, but I don't think so. So I like to get the item that these guys are, are handing over, uh, the guys that I'm going to find right now. It seems like I may have already gotten it. Let's find it. So there are some uh, some guys who sell the plague cure, who walk around here, and they're actually looking for Taurus, um, who has the plague. And uh, if you just give them, if you just meet them and you give them three infected blood instead, they'll give you the item that they want. Um, and you tell them actually that you've killed him and to prove that you've killed him, you give them the free infected blood. You don't even need to have met Taurus to give them the free infected blood. You know, basically, you're just lying to them and it doesn't really matter at all. I'm going to, uh, here we go. Um, I'm going to get rid of one of my animals, actually. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the alpha wolf right here because I don't need him anymore. Boom, you're gone. Move him back down here and we can rest. Okay, so we headed down that side and we come over here and let's head in. And boom, we discover the woodland farm and we inspect him, level 11 again. Uh, so we can do all this stuff here. You actually have a, a good thing to steal in here. As you can see, we got a treaties on the flag that we can steal. Um, I'm not gonna do any of that stealing. I'm not even gonna open the the thing right now, I can come back to do that. So she wants us to take care of him because he's got the plague and she can't do it. So we talk to the, to the buddy, heard my wife, she's right, you know, I will eventually turn against her, do what you must, I'd rather die than hurt her. So we recruit him for five wolf meat, which is another good reason to actually have that wolf meat from uh, attacking that team. Well, um, I believe you could give him cured meat anyway if you didn't have wolf meat, so... I don't know whether he takes just the highest uh, value of meat or something. Go into him and we heal him because we have a bunch of plague cures. So now we've got our executioner, Cutting Maelstrom, um, Valorous Chain, Recklessness, and Challenging Shout. Movement up. We were lucky he started with 14 roll power, so we'll get him up to um, Yeah, I'll pull him up to 20 anyway. And the rest into critical hits. There we go. Uh, give him Tinker, move out, and get out of there. Just going to see if these guys are selling anything good. 
They are not. As you can see, I'm still running three, only three uh, animals. And here I'm going to get rid of my wolf and my boar. I didn't get rid of the boar yet, just I'll get rid of it uh, soon. I'm just going to capture, I'm just going to recruit the next one uh, before getting rid of it myself. Just so that I don't have an, an issue of, of, a, of a pop scale, you know, that it, that it drops down and, and drops back up and comes back up. Um, it does a little you know, mishap thing, whatever. And give him the weapons. Yes, he's getting splitter. And he's getting, uh, should I give him the brigandine or the overk? Let's give him the out, uh, outlaw's overk. There we go. As you can see, I have a level 10 hair point yard in here. Great, great weapon. This is the weapon that I'll be giving to the other ranger that I'm going to get. Taurus, we give him and we give him. There we go. He's up. Whoop. Now, him for his oil. Um, there are also a few options for the type of oil that you would want to be giving him. It all depends on you, really, but unstable oil is still one of the most practical ones. Just, you know, if you're right beside the people when you're doing his stuff, although sharpening oil can really help also just to make sure that you're getting the, the crits, bring his crit up to 39%. But I'm going to do unstable oil on this one once again. Um, I usually go with sharpening oil. I actually usually go with sharpening oil on every unit except my my direct melee one so Bjorn or Gachette Arthur Hercules any of the other wrongdoers in Thor and all the rest of them even my rangers I would usually put uh, sharpening oil for the extra crit this time I'm going to do it a bit differently the only ones I'm going to be giving sharpening oil to is Harun, Narciss and Kegal which I've already done and uh, everyone else I'll be giving them uh, and stable oil and see how that functions. It's probably going to be more powerful this way than the other way, uh, just because procking the AOOs. So I need uh, 222. Two, two. I actually need four of each on this one because I need to be making. Uh, the unstable oil and its concentrate. So I need one of these for the concentrate. And um, three leather, but I'll get the leather. That's plenty of leather anyway, but I'll get the leather from town. Um, what was it again? Yes, pristine essence. I need two pristine essence. Four brandy, three, four. Four salt, four. I can also sell his crap. Okay. And three leather. Here we go. I can actually also buy 
all those things since my weight, my carry capacity is going up now that I'm adding in more units, more human units. All right, we're going to do apothecary, crafting, unstable oil two, and the unstable oil concentrate. You can see three leather, one red eyeball. These ones are easy to remember. Um, your uh, your concentrates all require one or two eyeballs, and they require leather. Obviously, you know they require the leather to make it as a strap, and then the eyeball for whatever it is that, that eyeballs do. But they all require eyeballs, so they're they're easy to remember what these need. Um, this is an ointment, so it's not actually concentrate. But all the concentrates require eyeball and leather in order to build, as you can see. So one or two eyeballs, depending on which concentrate it is. This is not a concentrate either, nor is this. There we go, let's head into Taurus and give him this and this, there we go. Now before, oh I was lucky because of my herbarium, let's go over here. The herbarium which uh, has a chance to retrieve part of the resources used in alchemy. Um, as you can see the herbarium allowed me to keep one of my pristine essences so it wasn't used, um, which is pretty cool. It, 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 it actually happens quite, a, quite a bit more often than you would imagine that you save a resource um, but what resources you're going to save is completely um, random so you could you know you could save a resource on medicine you could save a vial I've the, the few vials that I have in my storage are ones that I saved just making medicines or, or other stuff so you can save a vial you can save uh, pristine essence uh, I could have saved a, the eyeball, could have saved the leather. Uh, making medicine, you can save either one of the plants that you're using. So anything can be saved. It's random when it's being saved. And it's random when it procs. But it actually procs quite often, especially if you're making a lot of stuff. Now I'm just going to go and uh, upgrade the weapons just to show you how expensive it is to actually do this. Which is why uh, I spent time looking for uh, gear and stuff and just doing trade routes and, and killing units in order to to find stuff uh, get my shields and all that kind of stuff because it's really expensive and you need a lot of money to upgrade these guys once you've got them it's level five right now so um, i'm upgrading it from level five all the way to level 12 in one shot and here's your cost just increasing 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 so as you can see already, that's like 5,000, almost 6,000 that, that was used just to increase his one. And I've still got four more units that I need to do it with. And I've still got these units that need to go up to level uh, 12 also. So I can get him up to level 12 and him up to level 12. We upgrade, here we go, one, two, three, four. Boom, and we upgrade him too to level 12, and Bjorn can now fit it at level 12, which brings Bjorn up to 182 strength. I mean, she is, she was already a beast, obviously, but now she's just like crazy. Like, this is crazy strength, as you can see. That's uh, nuts. At level 10, it would be 126, so it's a, it's a huge jump, and the higher level you get, the, the greater the jump, as you can see, 84. So these have exactly these would have exactly the same stats. So it goes at a level uh, a level ten weapon, um, a level ten legendary one hand weapon is at sixty one. A level eleven legendary one hand weapon is at eighty four. So an increase of twenty three, which is about about a third. It increases by just over a third. Uh, of course, a third of eighty four. Uh, now we're getting up to one hundred sixteen. So. We're getting to huge numbers, and what with strong and lively, that are adding even more onto that because strong and lively are uh, five percent, five percent of the total. So twenty-seven base plus the hundred sixteen equipment, strong is now much more powerful than it was before. So you can see two extra points for here, where you only gain one point from going from nine to ten, you gain two extra points from going from, uh, well, from, from going from 10 to 11, sorry, you get two extra points from going from 11 to 12. 
Um, so strong and lively that he has, plus the mutton stew. Uh, she's absolutely incredible. And um, But the real incredible one here is going to be Taurus at 235 strength now. And he doesn't even have anything. He's just got the carnivorous because he was uh, plague ridden, but he doesn't have strong or anything else. Uh, and he's sitting at 234. Absolutely magical. Um, but you can see that it already cost me like 11,000. I won't even have enough to be able to get all the upgrades. I'm still going to need to do some trade routes just to do it. I mean, I'm sitting on quite a bit of money that's just in my inventory. I'll be able to sell. But uh, you still understand that this is a very expensive process to get the guys up. Uh, not counting the fact that I need to scale them up also uh, and give them the um, uh, secondary skill books. So uh, you can do that. Um, the other the other ones are the improvised burning stake, the corpse looters that are around here, that you can grab a mission for the corpse looters and just uh, hire the corpse looter and the mission will be finished. So you hire the corpse looter, it'll be level 11. Level 11. And the fifth one is um, whoop, in the looter in jail, uh, Inquisitor Aurea. So she is a brute. Um, the corpse looter is also a brute and the last one here is a witch she's a ranger so there is no weapon there is no legendary weapon for two of them the second ranger has no legendary weapon there's only one legendary dagger at the moment and one of the two brutes doesn't have a legendary weapon there's only lucilla left as a legendary uh, some people may not find lucilla very useful and, and it isn't a useful weapon for most of the game I don't find, but end game like this, at this point, uh, not that there's really anything that you'd want to be doing, although as you can see from the map and from the various uh, things, the only one that I've finished is Ludin Region. So I'd, I ha I'd, I've done nothing in County of Arthas, a few side quests, I've done nothing in Virtus, a few side quests, but none of the main quests, and I've only done two main quest missions in Tiltrin. I leave all of this stuff for the end and there's quite a few things that I haven't done. I haven't even um, uh, uh, spawned the new bandit layer from this mission right here. This one, um, the known misappropriation. Uh, no, not, not, not crown misappropriation, sorry. But this one to meet with the brother. You meet with the brother and they spawn a new bandit layer here, which is the hardest bandit layer in the game. I like to do it at the end because the odds are really good. It's over 8 to 1 odds against you, so... It's a fun one to do, and I haven't done this bandit layer either. Um, and I haven't done, you know, I haven't reduced the defenses of the bandit layers. I haven't done any of the missions. I'll leave all that to the end game now so that I actually have something to do when I'm level 9. Um, and with all these things, although it's, it's all really a cakewalk by now. Because the power of the units is just so high. So uh, once Gossenberg comes out soon, I'll just be heading into Gossenberg with each one of my different saves. Um, and doing that with these incredibly powerful units. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you liked it, showing me some of the mechanics and stuff, and uh, see you on the next one.